back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back again with another Series 5 AEW Unrivaled Collection figure review on the brand new John Moxley and Hangman Adam Page. Two figures we've already seen in the line, right? We got a Series 2 Moxley and a Series 2 Adam Page, and now we are back with Series 5. You guys know how the AEW figure lines like to do. They like to pump the guys out. I mean, that's just what they do. They gotta keep those characters on the shelf. Hopefully with the new Unmatched series coming soon, we can see more of that roster and see better fits in there and get more characters in our collections but I'm super excited for these. I'm up, I'm happy for the update in gear and you know we could do some head swaps and there's some things you can do with these figures that I'm actually really excited about. So without further ado guys let's dive into the review. If you would like to grab these you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I think they are on like another pre-order right now like pre-order 3 or 4 so you definitely want to get that in and I think if you if you pre-order the full set you have a chance at getting a chase figure so there is that. But here's the front viewing window AEW title across the front. We got the bandana over here for Hangman Page. You get the beautiful images of the talent over here. You got their names in gold. AEW logos, other faces of them right there, number 37 and 40. On the back, we have a great image of Moxley and Adam Hangman Page right there. You got both of their championships right there. He does not come with the world tag title, but we do get a tag title in this set, which we'll probably see tomorrow. Spinning it around, there's the AEW logo, and that does it for your packaging of John Moxley and Adam Hangman Page. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack these guys out and find out the differences and if if they are any better than their Series 2 counterpart. Alright guys, so here's John Moxley and Adam Hangman Page out of their packaging, and I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. You know, we don't know all the deals and the ins and outs. I will say I do have my gripes, though. We're gonna get into all of those things, the gripes, the things I like, the things I don't like, the things I wish that would get out of my face. But today, guys, we do actually have some guys that have some different accessories. So what we can do first is take a closer look at Hangman Page's accessories and Hangman Page, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Moxley's accessories and John Moxley. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it, shall we? So getting into Hangman Page's accessories, guys, he actually comes with quite a bit, especially if you compare it to yesterday's video where we took a look at Jurassic Express where it was just two pairs of interchangeable hands. This is what we like to see with our AEW figure. Some nice little accessories. Now, if we dive into these, we do have his entrance vest right here, and I like this. I like the color of it. You got some nice, like, cowboy-like designs going down. You get this nice horse logo going on right here. I think it even says Adam Hangman Page somewhere in there. I'm not entirely sure. On the back, you get the nice fringe sculpted on there. Pretty nice accessory. I like it. think it looks good. Fits the figure well. So those are all things that are really nice with an entrance vest accessory. Next up is the interchangeable hand. He does have his shooter hand. I think this is the exact same sculpt that came with his Series 2 figure. And I'm pretty sure it's even the exact same sculpt that we got with our Kenny Omega. So that is just another thing to note. If it, it fits great, you get that. And you also get, you know, Mike holding hands out of the packaging. But there is his shooter hand. He also comes with a shot glass or a glass and a pitcher for his, his alcoholic beverages. So that's actually really cool. I mean, one thing that could have been cool is if it included like a, you know, those little like risen filler things that could look like beer. I guess they didn't do that because it is, you know, at the end of the day, this is a, a kid's figure, you know, it's up on the shelves in the kid's aisle and they didn't want like underage drinking and you get the whole point. So that's probably the reason why, but you get the nice picture that's clear and then you get the shot glass that's also clear and these look good. Really like the way those look, all that good stuff. So that's looking nice. And then just like our series two hangman, this one also has a bandana accessory, but this one actually goes over the face. I'm pretty sure the other one just went around the neck, so seeing this one looks really good. You get Adam Page right there. It says Hangman, and then on the other stop, it does say Cowboy Shot. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say Cowboy Shit, but uh, again, kid, you know, figure, kids, aisle, toys, you get the whole idea, right? I don't know all the rules about being naked and just sit down. But outside of that, guys, I mean, that pretty much does it for Adam Hangman Page's accessories. Pretty good lot, though. I like it. I think it does well, but let's dive into Adam and get got Hangman, yeah. That's it. So getting into Adam Hangman Page, man, this figure is actually really nice. I'm actually enjoying everything about it as far as an aesthetic is concerned, and you'll see why I don't like it here in a moment. But this head sculpt, I like. I think the likeness is there, especially with the bandana on there. When you put the bandana on there, it looks really, really excellent. If you guys want to remove the bandana, you do have to pop the head off and then remove it, just like his Series 2 figure. But there is the head sculpt. I think it looks pretty solid and all those things. Same torso as before. Got the black wrist tape on there. 
all this is good and dandy. It is a little bit loose, I will say. He just kind of feels wobbly, which I don't like. However, going down in the crotch piece, this is really unique, okay? So we do have the long tights for this Adam Hangman page. You know, the first go around, it was his, his you know, his, his trunks look. This look is the long tights, the more updated Adam Hangman page. And this is really cool. So what they've done here is much like Pentagon and Luchasaurus and stuff, they have made this piece separate so that you can, you know, it, it's not sculpted on there. I think, I get, I mean, to be honest with you, if it was sculpted on, it'd probably be a little bit better, but the belt buckle looks good and all those things, and it is cool that they have allowed for you to switch that out and stuff like that. So if you don't want that on there, you could take it off, but I think it's a really nice touch to have that attached there and be able to move it around. On the sides, you do get the nice fringe here. You get the nice cowboy pattern or the bandana style pattern going down. Really enjoy these boots. He doesn't have monstrous feet, but I don't know if you guys are already seeing it, but he is one loose mess, and I don't know why that is. If this figure had tight joints, bro, it would be insanely nice. Like, I, I love the aesthetic of it. Like, it is so crazy how, like, I don't know. I love the aesthetic of the figure again, but he is, like, just, I don't know. It is, it, it just feels really loose in the hand. Like, everything about it is just kind of, you see him saying, like, look at this. He's just, I, I, I can't even tell you how loose this guy is. If you were to do a match with this, you'd probably just want to just end it all before it was said and done, man. This is, uh, yeah, that is just unacceptable, man. It kind of reminds me of, like, an action figure surgery that we did, and the figure just would not take it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, oh, uh, man. And I love the figure, dude. Like, it looks so damn good. I really am happy with the figure, but this ain't cutting it as far as that is concerned, man. I gotta, I gotta tighten up these legs. I gotta do something, man. We gotta do something about about this because this guy is insanely loose and we're gonna have to fix him up i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do but i i hope it's coming across like god in heaven now, as far as John Moxley's accessories, guys, we do get another AEW championship. And one thing you'll immediately notice out of the packaging is that this AEW championship is actually quite different from the first go around. So you're probably wondering how. And you guys will just notice it just has like a more golder sheen to it. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but the bottom one has more gold. It's like a yellower gold. The top one is more of like a white gold. And uh, outside of that, I'm not really seeing a ton of it. I think it just has more yellowish gold goldish tones to it and this one also has like a side plate upside down this one does not so that's also something to note but the AEW championship is looking good I don't fault uh, you know they got to get this title belt out they got to make it widely available for everybody in their collections and displays and stuff like that so I don't think it's a big deal looks great really happy to add another AEW title to the collection there I think it'd be sick to customize this into an MDT championship you know I, I think that would be really dope you know change the colors and change everything I think that would make for a really cool MDT title if you replace all the logos and stuff like that but there's the AEW championship we also have his entrance vest and we are going to compare this to his series 2 figure so we can see if they are in fact the exact same but the sculpt looks nice on the back it wouldn't be Mox's jacket without Mox on the back in the orange spray paint now if you wanted to compare it to the series 2 figure here it is and it is actually slightly different like it's a little bit thicker and everything like that as far as sculpt is concerned I think it's the exact same sculpt but I think the spray on the back looks a lot more accurate a lot more realistic and yeah I, I like the second version better here with the series 5 over the series 2 moxley over there but outside of that guys we don't really get much else with our john moxley series 5 figure so with that being said let's dive into moxley himself all right guys so getting into moxley guys starting out at the head sculpt i will say this head sculpt is not on the level of his first figure but you know it gives you kind of a different expression kind of like a talking or like a i don't know it definitely is a different expression i think the likeness is there i don't think it's perfect by any means but uh you know it's, it gives you a different option there. Hair sculpt looks fine to me. You know, not my favorite again, but you know, it gets the job done. Down into the torso, same torso as before, same arms and everything like that. I mean, the main thing about this is going to be the head sculpt and the pants. Now, the pants do have a really nice digital slash. Now, nah, it's not really digital, but it is a nice yellow, white, gray, and black camouflage going on, and I really like it. It doesn't look like they fixed the height, I will say. I think his height is the exact same, so you know, if you were worried about his height being correct, 
connected? It is not, I don't think. I, I don't I don't think so, Brad. We will compare it to a Series 2 figure just to make sure, but at the end of the day, the camo looks really good and everything like that. So it's basically just a change in color pants and everything like that. And yeah, I mean, it's the same torso, same. It's a head sculpt and a repaint for the pants. I mean, that's basically what you're getting with this Moxley. I will say, I wish that the Chase variant version was the regular version and this was the Chase version. However, you know, you can't uh, you can't do anything about it at this juncture. Hopefully, I'll be able to track down one of those Moxleys, but I'd really like to have one mock and one loose because I really like the look of the Chase variant with the eye patch and the camo and the Paradigm Shift shirt, but at the end of the day, I'm liking this Moxley figure and it doesn't have the same loose. It, like, it feels good in the hand. It's not like the Adam Hangman page where it's sliding all over the damn place and everything like that, but if you guys want to see what he looks like up next to Series 2 Moxley, we can do that right now and we can take a look at the head sculpt swap if you guys would like. So here is the height difference so you guys can see that the Series 5 is taller because I've already done the surgery where we fixed up that Moxley so you know that's all good and dandy there. And I will say I like the Series 2 better overall like if you guys wanted to see what a head swap looks like though we can do the head swap real quick just to show you guys what it will look like if you wanted to put your Series 2 head sculpt onto your Series 5 this is what it would look like for you. And I like the way that looks. That looks pretty badass with the updated tights right there. And if you guys wanted to see what the 5 looks like on the 2 we can also do that one. And there's that. And I kind of like that as well too. So you know you can get two different looks for Moxley if you would like. And yeah that does it for your Moxley figure comparisons. Now for your Adam Hangman page accessories accessories. Comparisons here is the Series 5 up next to the Series 2 and you guys can see the differences right here. The skin tones are actually a little bit different. This is actually better I think than this one. Uh, but uh, here's everything like that. I like the hair sculpt and, and I think I like this head sculpt over here better. But yeah man just that that freaking looseness man. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to like I have a mock set of Series 5. I may have to pick up another one and, and experiment with like fixing up and switching parts and stuff because this is definitely not going to cut it for me. He's just way entirely too loose. If you guys wanted to see what a head swap would look like we can go ahead and do that. So you you know if you wanted to switch your Series 2 head and your Series 5 head which I absolutely love about these freaking AEW figures man. The ability to just head swap at the drop of a hat is just so nice. So the Series 2 head sculpt sits maybe a little high on this but it's not bad at all. I think it still could work if you wanted it to. If you guys wanted to see what the Series 5 head sculpt looked like on the Series 2, then oh my god. And then here we go if we could get this lined up and then plop this on here. And there is that. So that's pretty cool too if you guys would like to do that head swap. There you go. But uh, yeah man, Jesus Christ at the looseness. This just makes me sick to my stomach. Uh, if you guys wanted to see a quick comparison, here's Jericho up next to the new Adam Hangman page. Here's Series 4 Omega up next to the new Adam Hangman page. And yeah, just the loose garbage. But anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 review on Series 5 Moxley and Adam Hangman Page. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but overall, man, ah, so disappointed with Hangman Page. Like, as far as the looseness, again, I think that that figure is better than Moxley. However, the looseness of it totally puts me off of the figure, man. It really does. It really sucks. I hope that everyone's isn't like that. I hope that it's just mine and that everybody else's is, you know, has tight joints and it's all good and everything like that. But if you guys would like to grab these guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Get in on all the AEW figures, the Ringside exclusives, the WWE figures. Grab them all, man. Use promo code MDTOYS when shopping over there. Overall thoughts on both figures is I like them. I just hope that your Adam Hangman page is tighter than mine. And it's definitely better than the Series 2. And I would say that the Series 2 Moxley is superior to this one, but I do like the attire better on this one. So I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it. Overall thoughts, though, I do like it. If you guys missed our Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy review from yesterday, definitely go check that out. Our next time we do it, we will be ranking this set from worst to best, as well as taking a look at Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian, which I'm really looking forward to, so we'll have to see about that. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out, which is going to go to Renzo Raphael, who says, video idea, ranking every superhero figure attire. Now, I will... I, I might be able to do this. It just depends on, you know, like, how many there are. Like, you know, there's probably some basics that they made, and it's like, do I even want to rank those? And there's just a whole idea. It's like, why wouldn't I just rank every super 
superhero attire in WWE history instead of doing the figures. But then it's like, if I do that, then it's like I'm not doing anything with figures. And it's like, eh, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I do like the video idea, though. So I guess I'll, I'll look into it a little bit, see what we can come up with. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know down below what you thought of both of these figures. Did you grab them? Definitely go check out Jurassic Express from yesterday. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line. You cross the line, I've been